and strength, a very, very pleasant help in trouble. Christ has promised us, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. In the stillness and the coldness of this place, we turn to God, who is our beginning and our end. From dust we have been made, and to dust we return. And here in this place, we gather to thank God for the gift of Isla May Tinkin to us and to commit her earthly body to the elements with the confidence that neither life nor death can separate us from the unconditional love of God we know through Jesus Christ. We hold May in grateful memory, who is now separated from us by death. Though we cannot recall her back to life, we can fix her memory within our hearts for as long as each, of us shall, each one of us will live and remember her. We can celebrate the fullness of her life with all its strengths, its weaknesses, its goodnesses, and um, shortcomings, and rejoice in the ties that continue to bind us one to the other. If there's anyone here who would like to express a word of gratitude or memory, this is the time to do so. May the words of Psalm 23 serve as a comfort to us. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Will you pray with me? Loving God, gather together all our gifts of gratitude, spoken and unspoken, and treasure them in your eternal mind, where nothing is ever forgotten. We thank you for the goodness and loving kindness you bestowed upon Isla May Tinkin in this early life. We thank you for all the ways that she made our lives better for having been in it, and pray that now, beyond the bounds of death, you will bless her with the gift of eternal fellowship with you through Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. 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 Having committed May, our companion on life's journey, into the hands of God, we now commit her body to the elements, confident that the one who has made us shall not leave us in the dust. But in Christ, give us victory of eternal life. We look forward to the day when, as the scripture promises us, that God will wipe away every tear from our eyes, and there shall be an end to death and to mourning and crying and pain, for the old order has passed away. May God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you always. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I'm so sorry, so very cool.